Good day, guys, and welcome back to Shanghai Shenhua on Football Manager 2015 for episode number 16 of the series and the start of the third season. Good day, it's our birdie. How you guys all going? And yeah, like I said. It's the start of the third season, we had our off season, we brought in some transfers, we also lost some players, and um, <clears throat> and today's episode is actually um, the start of the ACL Champions League straight off the bat, so, um, <clears throat> so well, let's just get right into it, and we'll go and start with, um, Actually, we'll start with the the groups and all this. So we've had played a, a couple of friendlies, you know, just to get some players some game time. But as you can see, the Champions League draw happened, and um, <clears throat> we are in a um, pretty similar group, I guess you could say, to last time. You know, Gambo Saka was in our group last year. Um, you know, Perth wasn't, but uh, it was Newcastle. Um, you know, I've been seeing a trend here. It's usually Koreans, Chinese, and Australia sides, but uh, I guess you could say a Thailand also get in there as well. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that's our group. You know, it is quite a tough group. Obviously, Seoul is a very good side. Um, they got some really quality players. Uh, they got Brian Ruiz coming over from Costa Rica. So that's, or from Fulham, so he's, that's pretty surprising. Um, and they've lost a couple of players as well, so uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be a tough, tough little group, if I say so myself. Um, looks like they, they got Brazilian, he's still injured, but it's mostly all Koreans. Um, and of course with Perth, Perth Glory. And Gambo Saka, when, let's see who's Perth has has brought in. No one really too too much, but they got one guy who's just really good, Andy Kioga, and he's uh, he's in real life he just tears the A League up, and yeah he's <laughs> he's doing the same. He's had some Premier League appearances, so um, so yeah it's gonna be really tough. But that's our group, <clears throat> and. Uh, you know, is there any other Aussies? You know, Brisbane's in it. Uh, looks like that's it. Just Brisbane. I think. Um, yeah, Western Sydney went out. So that's our group. <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, you know, the, obviously the ACL didn't end well um, last season. <laughs> So we're hoping that we can maybe do better this time, and obviously with goals and that I want to do in the save, I need to do it. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird too because you know we we play this game, and it's not even the start of our season, so uh, you know, it's right in the friendly season. Um, so yeah, a bit weird. Um, but now let's go to the transfers. Uh, you know, these guys they keep uh, reject you know. These guys keep, uh, but yeah, okay. We'll just go into it. <laughs> so, um, our first one, we go with Hao Yunming, um, coming over from um, Shanchon. This guy, he's, you know, he can play on the wings. You know, he's got really good technical, um, you know, and you know, his and uh, mental stats. Um, and it's a good player, you know, obviously 29, he's still a bit old, but I mean, look at the last season he had, uh, 5 and 8, so that's really good. Um, he's had some Bundesliga um, experience, so he's, you know, one of the higher end Chinese players. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that he can come in and help us out. Uh, <clears throat> and here he is, one of our foreign players, <laughs> Georges Samaras. Um... <laughs> Now, uh, he was on a free, uh, you know, obviously, you know, remember his days at Celtic, you know, a couple of times in Man City. Um, you know, Samaraz, he's, he's going to be a bit of a wild card, I admit. Um, you know, his mental stats are not the greatest. Obviously, the work rate, teamwork, um, positioning, I mean, it's it goes on. Um, but he's a form player, 
and he's got the really good stats to really control this this league for the technical and the physical attributes. Um, so I'm hoping that he could come in and help it. Um, he's only here on a one year deal. Um, you know, one move that I always keep going back to that I'm always kind of regretting doing was letting go of Andre Arshavin to Zhuang Zhao. Um, <sighs> just, it's just one move that I wish I should not have done because um, he was really performing well for us and and all that. But I'm um, hoping Samurai has 32 years of age. He's only here on one year deal um, that he can come in and uh, really dominate. He can play on the wing and he can play up top as well. He's got the pretty good, you know, he's got heading abilities. Obviously, his bravery is not good at all, but his jumping reach is there, so I'm maybe hoping that maybe he could change it. Um, but yeah, that's that's one. Um, he's also ready for staff as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, also one interesting fact you could say is uh, he's also Australian. He was actually born in Australia, was uh, Samurai's, but uh, raised in Greece. So. Um, but yeah, it's uh, eligibilities. <clears throat> but yeah, so Samurai, he's one of our uh, foreigners. I'm hoping that he can really dominate for us. Um, the other foreigner, because like I said, um, you know, with Sunzo being a wanker all season last season, um, I decided to bring in another center back, and it's Mihai Lika. And this guy, you know, I've I've purchased him a lot on previous Footy Manager games. Um, good young center back. Um, obviously, you know that eye candy, really good stats. But for this league, um, yeah, he's uh, he's he's really going to do really well. He's got 15 heading, 14 marking. He's not the the quickest player, by no doubt. But um, he he's going to be really good. Uh, you know, in previous uh, times I've had him. Um, He's just he's just been a stellar uh, limited center back, um, and he's gonna win a lot of headers in the air. Uh, and I mean, for you know, he's a six three player, so he's gonna be, um, you know, <laughs> he's gonna tower over all the rest of these a lot of these players. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so uh, that's one of my signings. I got him on two point four million. Um, which, I mean, you look at our transfer budget, or 2.8, sorry, look at our transfer budget, doesn't really harness that at all, um, and, uh, you know, and he's on 15k wages, which is pretty good for, a, a for uh, you know, a, a foreign player, so, yeah, so that's, that's me, hi, Lika, I'm pretty happy with actually both, um, foreigners, really happy with the Lika signing, but, uh, you know, Samurai is, like I said, he's going to be a bit of a work in progress, um, wild card type, but he was on a free. So, uh, yeah, and, and, and what I find really frustrating with this particular save at the moment, guys, is, um, I mean, you look in Shanghai in real life, you know. They go out and get um, Musa Sissoko. This is in real life, guys. Musa Sissoko, um, you know, former PSG player. In fact, let's uh, look him up here. Um, uh, Musa Sissoko. <laughs> what am I thinking here? They go out and get this guy, you know. Um, in real life, actually, maybe it's not him. We got Mohammed Sissoko. They got they got one Sissoko. I know that. Um, yeah, maybe it's ah. Uh, yeah, it's this guy. You got Mohamed Sissoko. And, um, I mean, look at my scouting report. Okay, I won't get him. But <clears throat> they got that guy in real life. And they also got Demba Ba in real life, just recently. And, you know, I've done some scouting reports on it. No interest at the club. So that's why it's just, it's really frustrating because <laughs> quite, you know, <clears throat> um, you know, a lot of people go on saying FM is not realistic about certain transfers and whatnot. Well, FM isn't being realistic 
by not letting this transfer and players don't want to come here, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's just what I'm saying because, you know, it's just it's frustrating. You try and bring in some players and no one wants to come to the club. So, um, whereas in real life, I mean, even Paulinho from Tottenham's gone to Shangjiao in, in real life. And, you know, Demba Ba, you know, he's, he's 30 years of age. Uh, he is still pretty quality to play in Europe, but obviously money talks. So, <clears throat> uh, uh, that's just something, it's just frustrating, you know, trying to bring in some really good form players, big name players, and you can't really do it. So, that's why I'm trying to put up my rep. But we'll go continue on here uh, with some Chinese players now, signings. Huang Boan, I've been looking at this guy for the last couple of seasons. And he is, uh, you know, he's going to be quality in the middle. Um, you know, obviously with Darren Gibson departing, you know, I, I got a couple of players that can play in the middle. But this guy, he's really going to dictate how we play. Um, you know, he's got good decisions, good passing abilities. Uh, first touch is, is okay for this level. Obviously, his physical stats, because he's a bit older, is, is not there. But, um... For the play, for the you know the um, position he's going to play, he's going to be um, really good. And <clears throat> like I said, he's he's a guy I've been looking at for a couple of years. And you know, obviously, he, you know the stats are pretty good for Zhang Zhao. Obviously, his ratings a bit down, but he I think he's going to be fine here. Um, another guy from Zhang Zhao, Zhang Shuiqi, um, if I could pronounce that right, 25 years of age. And look at that physicals. This guy's going to be, you know, he's a um, he's a ball winning midfielder. So, uh, you know, but he could also play. You know, he's got the passing ability, so he could maybe play in a you know deep line playmaker role type. Uh, but yeah, physical attributes that is that is really good. Um, you know, like he can maybe even train him to do some center back. He could maybe, but. Um, but yeah, this guy, he's, he's really going to be good. Um, obviously, uh, you know, he's kind of like a shutdown type. He's had experience in Europe before coming to China. In fact, he started in Europe. So, uh, that's, that's really good. Um, and the last guy, Shen Hao. Uh, you know, I felt like I needed a striker to, to try and back up, uh, Vitaly Rodinov. Um, like a natural striker. And this guy was the best that was available. Um, 17 goals last year for Harbin. Obviously, it was in the second division. So, you know, this was the first time in Chinese top flight. So, he hasn't really proved himself in the top flight. But, um, I think he's, you know, he's going to have the service to him. And I think he'll, he'll, he'll do well. Um, obviously, I only got him on a, a one-year deal. So that's why I kind of, actually on a two-year deal, pardon me. Um, <clears throat> So uh, that's why I've kind of just done that one. So, so that's who we've picked up, 4.32 mil. And we go up with some guys that we've just released. Um, you know, notables. This guy's, you know, he's got some by Wuhan. Uh, I mean, this guy was, you know, that's just terrible for that stats. Um, Ji Yanbin, he was one guy that was kind of sad to let go because you know he's a pretty good fullback for us. Obviously, the technical isn't there, but he had a couple good um, seasons with us. Um, you know, this guy's never really going to be good. Uh, Wang Ji, uh, striker. You know, he had some opportunities last year, only five, and nothing really came of it. Still a free agent, so he's yeah. <laughs> Here's our other goalkeeper that we sold, um, <coughs> Sheng Zhao Feng. <coughs> Um, 10k, he was pretty good for us. Two uh, uh, foreigners, Sanzo and Gibson. Uh, Zhang Zhao, uh, they have brought in some other. I don't know that's all they've brought in for. You know, they let Alan go. Uh, so they got quite a few foreign players in their squad. You know, Galat, Diaby, Gibson. And then if you look on the other side here. <coughs> Sunzo, Arshavin, Kunai, Pandev, Enrique. So they got a lot of um, free agents or, you know, form players. It looks like he's going to be going, though, Kunai. 
<clears throat> so it's just it's kind of you know that's what I've always thought it's you know it's really hard to kind of juggle that with you know following what not <laughs> right so um some more form or freeze um Wang Yun um you know I was trying to get rid of him he is pretty good I mean that is the thing but he wanted out and last year and um I just you know I tried offering him and nothing happened so I just released him um <clears throat> you sang gang goalkeeper that's never really gonna go anywhere so I just you know why not another goalkeeper that's not really gonna do well um so <laughs> yeah and one of our younger players that's on loan um I'm hoping that he can maybe you know, he's 20 years of age so maybe a loan deal maybe he could have played some minutes for us but <clears throat> I would like him to get some more minutes in uh in you know regular football so I put him out on loan <clears throat> so yeah so that's where our transfers are um yeah I guess you know and actually I've been scouting Aaron Morley but yeah so that's that's the players we really you know we brought in um is it a better squad than last year obviously I don't know I mean I'm gonna have to play a couple of games and see how it goes but um yeah I think uh I think our team looks you know I'm pretty happy with the way the team's going um you know obviously uh <clears throat> with some players uh injured and suspended <laughs> i mean it's pretty tough you know sun key especially one of our wingers six or seven weeks with a broken arm zhang ji three or four weeks achilles tendonitis so you know that's why we brought in some of these other guys i mean this yang bowen you know i've had a thing with either zhang ji or xiao yun ding or Qiang bowen they'll you know dictate the middle of the park so that's how we go. And <clears throat> those three guys are really going to share it around to play in the, the center, you know, kind of dictate how we play. <clears throat> but we'll get to this Champions League game against Seoul. Um, this is going to be a pretty tough game to start it out. Uh, you know, we haven't really had much match fitness wise. <laughs> so uh, it is going to be. Um, It's it's gonna be tough. I mean, um, you know, I'm not really. I think we'll start Hyung Bo on first. Um, and, uh, come on, George Samaras, and Zhang Long is also injured. So, um, yeah, that's tough. You know what? We'll stick Samaras up top. And got pretty decent acceleration. See if uh see yeah. Uh, and summarize his best what's he best on this? Target man. Um poacher. Yeah, he's not that great. See what he is with target man. He's not that great either. Um, the option is you could put Tim up front <clears throat> with uh, Samurai's in on the wing there, but yeah, we'll do that. We'll put Tim up front, Samurai's on the wing where he's supposed to, because um, yeah, a lot of key guys are injured. Zhang Zhi, Gabriel, especially. Um, we'll put Chang Yun Ding there. Zhang Long also injured or suspended. I mean, that's pretty big guys there. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what going for that squad. And we've settled mostly on put Mi Hai Lika there. Zhang Shuk Ki. Number 10. Then summarize uh, 29, sure, why not? So the first ACL game of the sec of the third season 
Um, coming up short last year. And let's hope we can get to a pretty good start. Um, um, and so, yeah, like I said, Ruiz is going to be the main guy for him. Cause yeah, that's a that's actually a pretty good that's a really good signing actually for this this team. Um, you know, he's Brian Ruiz is uh, he's a he's a good he's a good player. <laughs> um, he's a you know, he's a really good player. In fact. So here we go. Our first Champions League game, Group F of the season, um, against Seoul. Um, obviously, like you can see there, I think this is going to be Timmy's time to shine here, but here we go. Here's Hyun Min Min. That's a good tackle. Um, we're playing three in the back, so uh, I think what I'll do is I might, uh, or eventually as the game goes on, play a bit wider. Force the outside, and force coming in on the wings, I and mean, that's what we really want. Good play by them. So yeah, they got three here, so they're kind of a bit exposed on that side. They're on the wings. But, uh, you know, we're away from home, so uh, you know, a draw would be good way to start this ah they got behind oh no yeah Park Hee Sung on a bit of a broken play uh, <clears throat> that was a pretty good tackle this guy Lou Bin but the ball went right to the other players so that was not really good <laughs> So we'll play a wider already. Gambas on the middle there. Your summarize. That's a good side, and that's again another tackle and another broken play on the defense. I mean, that's like <laughs> it's a good, good way to tackle, but you know, make sure that you you're tackling it out of attacking areas. You know, Christian Bowen, and it's a goal. Or how young men first goal for Shanghai in a season, and it's a one all game. And that was a really good free kick. You now good bit of play there. And put it in. And that's good good movement from us. And Ruiz is also injured. So that's a good way. <laughs> Our first shot to first goal. And there's Kyle! Timmy Kyle! First goal, and we're up two to one. And this is a great response. You know, conceding the first goal and then. You know, just a bit, uh, just a little bit of tactic-wise, play wider. Um, obviously, constant, you know, show some passion, and you know, we respond with two well-executed plays. So, obviously, we would like to get some more shots on net, but um, now uh, I should maybe. Because the way this is going, this might be a. Uh, Oh no, and they score again. And just what I was about to say, this game looks like it might be going to like a 5-4 type situation. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't know why Lou Bin is doing a back pass in our box. That is just... <laughs> I mean, that's just... Why would any defender try a back heel in the box? 
He's, you know, he's obviously it's his first game, first competitive game, so <clears throat> he is he's uh, <clears throat> struggling. <laughs> and that's a good cross from them and his well, it's offside, okay. Um Let's try and get out of this this half. Just Todd, please. This this is not really. Oh, there's a goal. Ah, because yeah, this this is not going well at all. I mean, obviously three two. You know, you're still in it, but you're just playing sloppy football. It's not good enough. Because. Uh, yeah, that was. <laughs> <coughs> Just was not good enough at all. Um, Lupin Min. I just don't want guys to be injured as well. Um. Come on, here's an opportunity. Samurais, Kyle, Lu Bin Bin. There's the cross, and there's Kyle. Put it wide. You just know he's going to win that head up. Oh, that's a good play. And that was a good. I mean, he just got off the defender there, and Zhao Hao, he's not. He had that guy marked, but obviously that was a good play from him to get off the def defender, to get around it, and, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is not going well at all. Ken Bowen. Lu Bin Bin. There's another win in, and there's Kyle, but he's offside. <clears throat> and it's frustrating, you know, that's a big good apply, but. Oh. Just barely offside. So. 4 2, you don't really know what to. Box. Outside by Yan Yan Lin. Um, you know, Samurais, he's. You know what we'll try here? We'll put Samurais up top. Play him in the Tiger Man area. Um, Fang Zhao Wang. Fan Ling Jang or whatever. <laughs> That's, yeah, and we'll see what happens here. Try and change this game around. Obviously, four-two. Um, I'm gonna try to pump ball in the box. By all reasons, injured. Um, goes down more. Oh man! And now our ball-winning midfielder is injured. We're going attacking. It's kind of changing. You know, we got nothing really to lose. 70th minute. Here's Samurais. Oh, man. And that's a bad first touch. And that's why Samurais, you know, obviously, I mean, it's the first game, obviously. Yeah. I don't want to really judge too much. I mean, obviously, well, cause it's the first game, right? Um, I 
But uh, this game today was uh, a game clearly an example of a team that um, you just you just get those games, you know, when uh, you bring in a whole bunch of new players and uh, you know your team's got to gel a bit together, and you just you just get those. And, you know, obviously we had three games coming into this, so I'm not making that excuse, but... <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to lose today, and we do. So our first game of the Champions League was not good at all. Um, Mihai Lika, yeah, I mean, um, like I said... Yeah, this is the first game, uh, and, you know, it was a game where we've, haven't really gelled much of as, as a team, but, you know, we're going to, obviously, we're going to have to do a lot better, there's no doubt about it, um, we're going to have to do a lot better than that, <clears throat> um, I was just seeing if Shabby was there, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we're going to have to do a lot better. Um, Gamba wins 1-0 against Perth in the opener. I guess what we could maybe take um, from this is, you know, going to Seoul and scoring two goals, having a lead was also pretty good. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to have to be a lot better uh, going forward. Um, and, you know, I think hopefully after a couple of games, you know, we've gotten some players back from injury as well. Gabrielle's going to be back. Um, Zhang Long, you know, those are pretty key guys. So, uh, so yeah, I think, uh, obviously we're going to have to work on more, but on uh, a fractured arm for the new signing. So that's very unfortunate. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Zhang Jukai. Um, yeah, it's a blow. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, I think, you know, I have been doing team cohesion, which that's, I mean, that's something that, uh, is is big, you know, when you when you bring in new players, but uh, yeah. So so the start of the third season <clears throat> doesn't start off too well. <laughs> uh, Champions League loss, um, and uh, you know, I'm, aside from you know, obviously, like I said, guys, the Samurais signing is a bit of a wild card, um, but. The other signings I'm really happy about, and so, uh, you know, we're, it's just going to take some time, obviously, and, and that's, unfortunately, you know, the start, the very beginning of the ACL group stage, I mean, look at that, you can see at the bottom right here, Gamba at home, and then Perth at home in the next two games, and that's in about, in a couple of weeks, right, so, uh, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, front-loaded to start the year, which is probably the most important, um, just you know, it's the most important competition, obviously, besides the Chinese Super League. So, um, yeah, and see, like I said, here it is. Mohamed Sissoko doesn't want to come to the team. I mean, it's it's just it's frustrating. But uh, you know, but yeah. So, like I said, uh, as as you see, we kind of start off with a loss. Um, <clears throat> you know. It's just, it's tough, you know, front-loaded. Um, so I think what we'll do, guys, is uh, we'll come back again for the next Soul game. Because, you know, I would like to play, you know, it's just, it's, it's tough, you know, recording, recording, recording every Champions League game. So, 
you know, I'll, I'll finally play one Chinese game, two Champions League, I'll come back for the game against Seoul, and then we'll play all this, and then I would like to show a game against Perth, that's, that's what I want to show. So, uh, again, we'll come back against Seoul for the next episode, um, or what we could do maybe is Perth and Perth, I don't know. We'll come back for either one of these two games anyway, um, tr get the season started, and, um, and hopefully <clears throat> get some good results then. So, again, guys, start of the third season doesn't start off too well, but it's the first game, and we're a relatively new team, different team. So hopefully our form and gelling this will get together and uh, players, you know, because we well it is accomplished I guess, but um, you know, again new players, you just you just don't know. So um, that's just that's just how it is. So that's what we're gonna have to deal with. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, so we'll come back for the game against Seoul or Perth in a couple of weeks and. Uh, for the next episode so again guys hope you guys are enjoying this i am and uh again we'll see you for the next time cheers